Stephanie came up with the fact of using a mirror. And look at this, look how genius this is. Sorry, we're in a tight space here, so. Now, I can put that mirror back there and I can see if we've missed any spots on the back side. Using a little bitty artist brush. I got my little handy dandy mirror. Thank you, Steph. I'm paranoid and I'm gonna drop it. So, let's see here. Um, crazy or what? Oh, this works great, Stephanie. Now, we did tape it down here because I can tell you right now, if it wasn't for tape, I'd be getting it all over Stacy's beautiful mold in here. That works great. Great, so Stephanie's going ahead of me and doing the true applicator, and then I'm going behind her and doing the trimming. So if you have a partner to do uh, spindles with you, that works really great. We're making fast work of it here. If not, then what I would do is go through and do the true applicator portion, and then by the time you get done with your whole section, that'll be dry, and you can come back and do the trimming. A little bit of the white that's seeped down. That's probably what I will tell you is the most tricky part about doing a two-tone spindle is that every time you work on this, you gotta be really careful not to touch this, and you will. And every time you work on this, you gotta be really careful not to touch this, and you will. So it's a, it's a very delicate balancing act of trying not to disturb one or the other. This little artist brush really helps because it lets me really control the paint. and control my hand better. Now, now tell them what you think now that you've done it with the true applicator. Oh, it's not hard at all. Not at all. It's she's actually enjoyable. That's what she said yesterday. She said, this actually is kind of enjoyable. It's kind of fun. Like and follow for more great DIY tips.